wanna be great, but sleeping until the next day. Yo, what is up guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make thumbnails again for Nasu. This tutorial is going to be like hecka quick, you know what I'm saying? So I even made the intro a little bit shorter than usual. So go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. So let's go ahead and just hop right into this. Alright, so you might want to get your GUI or your overlay to look similar to mine because that way I can tell you where to go and look. So first off, let's just search up in the toolbox whatever character we're going to go for. So for the sake of this tutorial, I think I might just go with a... So I'm going to go for a Luffy pose. It took me a while to come up with the idea of what to go for, but I just want to say you should go off a reference of an image that way you know what you're doing. Alright, so I'm going to search up Luffy, and I'll show you the hats and everything about Luffy. So you want to find something closest to the image that you're going off of, and it's going to be Luffy, second gear, and his cool pose. So we're going to go ahead and just pick a normal Luffy, because I want to make this tutorial short, so let's go ahead and just pick Luffy. Once you have Luffy, you want to go to your plugins and load character from the already pros plugin. Now I plan on leaving a link in the description of the plugin, because this helps you load characters. So you can even load your own character if you ever need to for a thumbnail. For this tutorial, I'm going to be going with Luffy. Alright, you got your already pro and you got your Luffy or whatever character you're going to use. Go to the model, open it, go to the same thing like that and click the shirt. The shirt template, Double as soon as you click on it, it's going to make sure everything's highlighted. Control C, go to already pro shirt and paste. Basically what this is going to do is when you're rendering out, it's going to have the same clothes. You want to do the same thing for the pants by the way. Also, you want to render out the hats. So whatever you can find what the hats are, as you can see, just click on things and if you find something that's the hat, like that right there, and I'm also trying to get that here, so we're going to go ahead and click on the next match part with I know it's right there. So you want to click on both of those and export selection. I'm not going to export a selection since I already have this, so I'm just going to do that. Now that you're basically done with that, you want to go ahead and remove the face for already pro because I'm going to be honest, I don't think the pose that I'm going for is going to fit with that Luffy face. So we're going to go ahead and simply go to head and delete the face and now this will make him faceless go to already pro export selection name it whatever you feel like and i'm gonna name it like whatever so you can make it name it spam because it, you're really not going to be looking for it then go for the link in the description below to get the roblox rig as well download the file do a little verification so once you have your roblox character rig you want to click on the little file and search up already pro and basically that will pop up with already pro one and you just want to click on already pro one text it's basically going to load all of your thing that you saved for already pro so you're pretty good on that you want to go to file import wavefront and search for the hats once you have the hats find the hats and basically just click on it again set origin jump machine to origin now all you have to do is hit is click the rotate button rotate it Click on the blue circle, rotate it that way, click on the move, rotate it up, rotate it back. Go ahead and drag this into the collection and shift and drag it into A head attachments. Once you've done that, go ahead and now click on the bones, basically these are the bones, and go to pose mode. Once you've done that, feel free to rig your character however you want. So basically, I'm just going to rig it for the pose I'm going to do. So I'm going to put a little time lapse right now. So. Also guys, quick tip, don't worry about how it looks from the back. Don't worry about how it looks from the back, worry about how it looks from the front because a lot of people are worried that it looked bad like that, but don't worry because it literally doesn't matter how it looks from the back, even if it looks bad. Now that you're done making your character, go ahead and go to camera, hit, hit the little camera button, shift and the button right over tab, and then you're going to be able to move like you're in an FPS game. So what you want, basically what you want to do is you want to pose it however you want your camera to be posed. For this tutorial, I want it to be posed like this, and a little closer, like, and yeah, that's basically, that's basically re really what I wanted, so I'm satisfied with this, so I want to go ahead 
and you know get the settings correctly that way it looks good and perfect now that you're done making your character once you're done making your character click this little button right here and change this to eevee if you're in cycles and you go to rendered mode some things are going to be invisible you can add freestyle basically what freestyle does is adds the lines that infernaz likes to use don't forget to go to film and click transparent that way your backgrounds are transparent and you don't have to do the extra work of cutting it out now you got your blender rig ready to be rendered out hit render the render image save as and save it to somewhere you can remember go to photoshop all right now you're going to blender first thing you probably want to do is get a brightness contrast and boost up like maximum to 150. now you got it at 150 brightness you probably want to go to google and want to find a clear sky also remember to find one that does not have a watermark because those do get really annoying luckily i did find one so i don't really need to edit it first thing i want to do to it is go ahead and add a sun that way i can add the shadows and the lights to make it look actually kind of real so in order to add the sun you want to draw a little white with a slightly bright with zero hardness you want to go you want to go to filter blur gaussian blur and you know add some I'll probably I think 78 will do that looks a little bit more real now that we're done with the sun go we'll add like a lot of layers on top of that make sure you avoid the same layer as the sun because you're going to add more gaussian blur and if you add more gaussian blur on the same layer as the sun did it's going to look really bad so once you control click on layer one the main layer that you had for the gfx you just want to go ahead and like outline it with a white only on the side where the sun is that way it looks a little bit real filter blur like explore around with what blue looks the best i mean to me, with 31 looks pretty good. Um, now that you're basically done with that, it's time to, you know, go for more effects. You know, probably gonna add more light like right here. Gosh, and blur it. Okay, this looks really nice so far. And I might just delete layer 5 because, or turn it off because it doesn't look that good. Now it looks pretty good. It looks really, really good. So we're gonna go ahead and add the air. Control D because you don't want it to be on the thing anymore. So we're gonna go ahead for the fist. We're gonna add a little air. So... Right, now that you found something that you're pretty comfortable with this looks pretty cool i'm gonna actually lower the capacity a little bit more you, you you know you start to get a little bit used to it the more you start to make it look a little bit more real right so now that you have something that's pretty satisfied with you go ahead and i think i want to do the same thing to the leg So I want to add like a black shadow because basically it's going to look really good. So I'm going to go ahead and control on that. Make sure that I don't cut the lines and just basically just like make them black right here. Alright, so I'm going to go fix the lights a little bit more because it doesn't look too good like that. Probably add some light like right there. And if it's not good there, you know, just leave it. And I want it to keep its little line right like that of alignment. Just quickly just, you know, lower that. So now it looks really good, as you can see. If you don't like this, I, I'm not that much better than what I just did right here. I think this looks pretty awesome. Um, I mean, kind of, I can definitely work a lot about it a lot. You know, if you don't like what you have, always keep on practicing. Because that's how I got better. I'm not just telling you that just to tell you that, like, seriously, just keep practicing. I've only been doing this for two months, and that's a pretty short time. Um, I'm, maybe people are better than me who've been doing it for two weeks. I'm not sure. You know, utilize your practice time and get better than me than this. Thanks so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. I watch anime like every day. Why you waste my time? I'm sorry, I don't lie.